All right, welcome back. And now we're going to do another checkpoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph this function. Okay, so what I want you to do is pause, you graph it, and then come back and see if you got the same thing that I got. Okay, so now let's start by again, figuring out the period. So B, as we can see here, is one third, right? So B is equal to one third, which means that the period is going to equal what? It's again, two pi over B, which is two pi divided by one third, which is going to equal six pi, okay? Now, what we want to do is understand that that is the period. So one period is going to go from zero to six pi is one cycle, right? One period. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide six pi over by four, right? Because we got to want to find those six equal, or excuse me, five, four equal pieces, okay? because that's where the critical points are, okay? Uh, now, let's graph out, right? So let's do that. So again, it's gonna bounce up and down between one and negative one, just like before, okay? And now I'm gonna do equal spacing. And let's do, um, so if we divide this by four, so let's just do this. Let's do six pi divided by four is going to equal three pi over two. So every three pi over two is going to be a point. So it's cosine, so cosine starts at, at the top here. So, uh, Let's see here. I hope I have enough room. I think it, uh, six pi. Well, let's see if I have enough room. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough room. So let's do this. Let's do each, uh, Tick mark is going to be um, hmm. Well, let me extend this because I don't see an easy way to. to do that. So let's see, we got one, two. Three, four. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so let's let's see here. So we got pi over two, pi, three pi over two, two pi, five pi over two, three pi, seven pi over two, four pi. Uh, 9 pi over 2, 5 pi, and we've got 11 pi over 2, and 6 pi. Okay, cool. So we did it. Okay, so it starts here now. Um, again, every 3 pi over 2. So it's going to go from 1 to 0 there, and then... Um, then the three pi, it's going to go to negative one, which is about right there. And then to the next, so if, uh, nine pi over two is going to go back to zero. And then a six pi, it's going to return back to positive one, like so. And now it'll look something like this.
Have a great day.